Hello everyone, my name is Imperius and welcome to my playthrough of Micro Slaughter Community Project. This is map 5, Marble in the Blood. Okay, this is map 5. We go through the teleporter, we pick up the rocket launcher, we pick up the rockets, we push the button which starts the timer for this fight, and then we start shooting the revenants. So the button starts the timer, as I said, and then the fight itself, two cupboards of revenants, two cupboards of hell knights, and the four pillars in the middle each have an arch file on, and that happens at set sort of intervals of like 30 seconds or, or whatever apart. So being quick is very important for this fight in order to not get overwhelmed and stay on top of the enemies as, as they come out. Now the strategy I have is to use these cupboards as look like little rat holes to shoot out and um, funnel in the enemies. Uh, they also contain some health and some ammo which, which is very much needed. So I'm just waiting now, and there we go. That's the first pillar down. Killed that archvile pretty quickly. We did it, um, we bought ourselves some time, so we just wait for the next pillar. And then, almost immediately as soon as this guy is dead, the wall will open here, and there we go, there's the revenants. So you want to try and start shooting them immediately, so that you can maximize splash damage while they're coming out. Keep moving, remember you've got Hell Knights behind you, that was a big hit. But we can get into this cupboard here, uh, get some health, we're going to go to the next one just to get some ammo, and then, yeah, same as before, rinse and repeat, we kill the Hell Knights. Now the thing to be conscious of is that that pillar in front of us is the next one that lowers, so we do not want to be in here when that archvile comes out, otherwise we've got no cover and we're going to take damage. So we're going to move to the next one, and then, yep, yeah, pretty much right on time. Uh, there was a Hell Knight behind me, yeah there he is, so that wasn't archfile damage, no I was too slow there, so I take damage from this guy, I knew I was going to take damage, which is why I got the Soul Sphere, uh, and tanked it. So now you can see we've got three Cyber Demons, yeah this, this fight is still going on, um, the cupboards have lowered the floors, so it's all damaging floor, and you've got imps. So you can telefrag the Cyber Demons later, so don't worry about them, instead kill some imps, uh, create some space, and then get behind them and get out. <clears throat> because you do get to come back later, the cyber demons will be restricted and you can just kill any imps that remain with impunity. So this next fight is a lot easier. Um, just some imps and some barons is the first wave. But that first fight is definitely the hardest one and it, the key really is about knowing what's going to open up next positioning yourself so that you can you know, take advantage of, of knowing what's coming next and just being quick in killing the enemies, quick and efficient to stop getting overwhelmed. If you can get through that, the rest of the level is, is pretty easy. So the second wave here, as you can see for this fight, is the Revenants. Uh, again, not, not really too much trouble here. You've got a lot of space, you can just circle straight around them to win, really. And yeah, just keep an eye on those homing rockets. Now the floor, as you, as you might be able to see, sort of lowers and raises. Uh, I don't know if it's random, but when it's lowered, it's a damaging floor, and when it's raised, it's, it's not, which adds a bit of uh, unpredictability to the fight. That teleporter just brings you to the other side of the arena, and there's one behind me which takes you back. I basically just use that as a, a way of cancelling out all those homing rockets. But we did that quite quickly, and now we're just going to wait for this wall to come down, and for the third and final wave of this fight to begin. Which is going to happen any second now. There we go. And we get a BFG. Don't miss that BFG. So as you might have seen, on top of the wall there was a lot of cells and in the pockets there's a lot of cells. You basically have a lot of cells. So Feel free to just go nuts and then kill all the pinky demons with the BFG. Which is quite satisfying after after the, um, the practice and the deaths that I had in, in the first fight. And then yeah, it's uh, time just to clean up the cyber demons. So a couple of shots each. And then there's a button behind each one which lowers the teleporter in between them. Which brings you back to the start and pretty much to the end of the level. Uh, we will telefrag those three cyber demons we saw earlier in, in just a moment. 
as well. So yeah, one button, two button, and then surprise, one more cyber demon. If you are feeling like a real Chad, you would obviously try and just double tap him, but I was quite quite nervous at this point about finishing the level, even pre-firing my BFG there, expecting a lot of imps, but there were actually only two. Um, and then this is not the exit. It's a teleporter that leads you to telefragging the three cyber demons. And one, two, and three. And there we go, that is the end of the level. So that was map three, and I'll see you in the next one.